All right, guys, so I'm back with uh, an updated video on this. I went through a lot of uh, videos, tutorials, trials, errors, but I finally got a good working system. You're going to get this to work fully inside of here. So everything is going to work like it's supposed to. You're going to be able to grab things. She's going to wrap her fingers around it. It's not going to go inside of it. Works with the pistol too. Rifle. So, let's get started. So, we're going to come over here to this project where I've already imported my character. If uh, you don't know how to, you just right click, go to import to game, select it. In this case, I'm using a character creator plugin because I use character creator for my characters. These are the settings I, I use right here. That's all I'm changing. You'll see this. You'll press that. And then you'll import. I'm going to cancel because I've already done that. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to come in here. We're going to go to our skeletal tree, skeleton tree, and we're going to go to show retargeting options. This is something a lot of people leave out or they do wrong in general. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You can check uh, the documentation on animation retargeting if uh, you want to know more about it. First off, you're just going to right click on the root and recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. And what this is for is this tells uh, the Unreal Engine how to retarget from the ALS uh, skeletons animations to this skeleton. And don't get freaked out because we're using their skeleton your animations will still work. Uh, I've tested it out on two different animations and they work perfectly. So after you've done that you set the root to animation and if you want to know more information about it you can hold down control and alt while hovering over it and it tells you right here root bone, IK bones, weapon bones and any kind of markers will use animation mode. The pelvis will use animation scaled so it sits at the right height. That's if uh, you're character is taller or shorter than the one that you're trying to retarget it for or the animations that the skeleton is uh, designed for so on this one animation scaled we're gonna come down here to hand we're gonna right or we're gonna left click select hand right click recursively set retarget translation retargeting to animation that way uh, because this is uh, weapon bones and they're used to hold weapons so that's why we're doing it to the hands then we're going to come down all the way to the bottom the IK bones need to be animation as well both the hand and the foot both need to be animations so just save it after you've done that then go over here to your physics uh, physics asset uh, and actually I am doing this on the wrong project so I want to come over here and I'm going to do that on this one real quick it only takes a second alright and here we go. So after you've done all of that, just come over here to the physics and go to options and go to show all bones. Then on the root, you're going to right click. And the reason why we're doing this one is because, uh, because you need this capsule. You need to go to add shape add capsule and then you can you don't have to but you can rotate it and scale it down if you want so what this is for is this is for ragdoll so it needs to be set over here under the details physics type it needs to be set to kinematic if you don't have this root right here and set to kinematic then uh, it's not going to work right for 
uh, ragdoll for this setup. So now that we've got the characters set up, we're going to right click on it, go to skeleton, go to assign skeleton. We're going to choose ALS skeleton. It's going to, what it's going to do is any bones that are missing from one are going to be uh, transferred to the other and any that are that are missing from this one will be transferred to that one so it's letting us know that it's doing that now if you're exporting from a uh, character creator or whatever just make sure you, that you're exporting them naked don't uh, export them with clothes or accessories or anything like that like I'm doing it's okay to do it with clothes but you don't want accessories like hats because it's going to add that as a bone and that's going to create problems when you have a bone for a hat on your skeleton. It might do that for Daz as well. So after you do, do that it's going to recompress the animations for the ALS character with those new bones. So if you open this back up you'll notice that you have now all the virtual bones, the, the camera sockets, and all that other stuff and any other anything else that your character was missing from the ALS character skeleton will now be on this one because both skeletons have to match up perfectly uh, in order to be able to use one with the other for the animations so you're gonna save that now you're going to go Oh, just right click this and select edit ALS anim man character BP that's gonna open this up I do not use the uh, virtual skinning mesh that he has here so I'm gonna delete that I'm not gonna use his coloring system so I want to delete that you can leave it if you want but just know your character is gonna be a different color and I'm, do I'm just opening up the construction script from the functions tab because by default it's closed. So after you've done that, you can delete the visual meshes and body meshes if you decided to remove that like I did. So go back to your character folder, select your character skeletal mesh, and then just press the back button right here. Now there's one more thing that we have to do right here under the anim class go to browse to and then just double click on it now what you're gonna do let me maximize this you're gonna go over here to the my blueprint right here you're gonna find your animation layers you're gonna select the very last one aim offset behaviors press the little arrow beside it for this one too the aim offset behavior state the look towards camera state you're gonna uh, select the arrow next to it and then you're gonna double click the look towards camera states that's gonna bring you here this is gonna fix uh, a facial bug where the jaw and eye lag behind on your character and you're just gonna uh, hold down shift and select all these red and green ones that I'm selecting then over here under the details you're going to find blend settings and go to blend profile you're gonna just change that to something head uh, and then you're gonna compile it you, you actually don't have to save it you're just gonna compile it once clear it and then compile it again what this does is it's fleshing out and fleshing it out and forcing unreal to recompile this with uh, our character in mind so if you don't do that you'll have a, a bug where with the jaw and uh, your eyeballs will whenever your character is looking from left to right. So we're going to close out all of this. Then we're going to do this. I'm just going to show you. You see that tapping right there? Don't freak out. Just stop it. You're going to press, you're going to exit out and then you're going to relaunch it. Again, we have to clear the catch because the Unreal Engine, it stores everything in memory. So once something gets loaded into memory inside the editor, it never leaves memory. Uh, the Unreal Engine, it doesn't flush itself. So, um, probably for performance reasons. So, you basically just have to exit it and relaunch it. If you do still have those issues, I would uh, uh, suggest uh, just deleting, uh, opening up your character mesh. And uh, first off, uh, go to the ALS 
character, go to his uh, character assets, mannequin skeleton, and then uh, open up the ALS mannequin skeleton right here. And this is just for uh, so you can see how he did did his. And then you're going to open up your character and its skeleton mesh, and you're going to pull this off of here and drag it over here. And then you're just going to delete these and redo them. And this is just basically you're right clicking. Uh, actually, you won't need to do that for the hands. You'll only have to do it down here. And this is just uh, you're right clicking on here, going to add, add virtual bone and saying foot. And for foot and for IK foot left, uh, IK foot L, you're going to uh, add a virtual bone to foot L. And then you're going to rename it to this. And then on this one, you're going to do this, but for calf L L. So calf L. And then uh, for the root, you're going to do it for each foot as well. Foot L and foot R. And then you're going to rename it foot target L and foot target R. And then that should fix it. That's only if you still have that issue afterwards, but you shouldn't have that issue. As you can see here, everything's working now. And wait, what did I do here? Okay, I left something out. Let's see, let's open this back up. Go to options, show retargeting options. Yeah, I forgot to redo it for the hands. Uh, actually, it seems like it reset all that. That's okay. Maybe I didn't redo it. Y'all probably know. So you're just going to right click on it, go to animation, uh, set this one to animation scaled for hand L. You're going to set this recursively set translation retargeting to animation same for the right hand and then you're going to do it for the IK foot and IK hand and now now it's working properly so see how she looks from left to right? If you wouldn't have done that one thing inside of the animation blueprint, her jaw and her eyes would be lagging behind. It would look really weird and deformed. So, I challenge someone to find a better way to do this. Uh, if you do find a better way to do this, let me know. But uh, this is the, a really quick method, real easy, and bringing in your own animations does work again like I said I tried this with two different custom animations and it did work in fact I can go ahead and show you that again here now so I'll just uh, do this I'll select the uh, ALS skeleton and I will import it it'll take uh, a second but let's see if you want to stick through this you can't okay there it goes And I made this one inside of iClone. And that is how it's supposed to look, by the way. I was making it because I was having those issues with uh, the face, with the jaw, when it, whenever she would turn her head. And at first I thought I just needed to uh, bring in my own animation, so I made some. Uh, and then I realized that, uh, thanks to another guy, uh, I realized that I just needed to go in there and uh, uh, reset that inside the animation blueprint anyway if anybody has any uh, questions let me know down in the comments i hope this helped you guys this is by f far the best method i've found so far and it took a lot of trial and error and uh it was very frustrating trying to figure all this stuff out so anyway yeah if you like this video please uh like it down below and uh subscribe thanks